hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on these full inspired box braids that i did on my hair i really really am enjoying them right now i hope you guys like them as well so these are the products that i used i used the sunica whipped hair and butter and also some hair grease a pair of shears and a wife tooth comb i would actually recommend for you guys to take a rat tail comb rather than the comb that i'm using to part my hair but it worked fine so just use whatever is convenient for you at the time and then of course expression braids i used about eight to nine packs of expression braids and i had different colors in my hair i had the color four which i had two packs of and then i also had the color six which i also had two packs of the color eight i also had two packs of these and then the color 33 i had about three packs of these because i wanted this color to be more predominant and then the color 27 which served as highlights so as with my old unbox braiding tutorial i start off by cutting the hair into my desired length which was into two pieces for each pack and then i start pulling them to prevent them from having boxy ends and more feathered ends and once you're done pulling you will end up with this tangled mess that you're gonna now split up to get all the big tangles out and then come back with your white tooth comb this one be private show your friends they tell you say i be nobody been searching all around but i found nobody Call on me, call on me, I go give you all of me, all of me, uh -huh. baby make you follow me, follow me, I go give you all of me, all of me. Now guys, when cramping out synthetic hair, be mindful because it's going to be really, really stressful. Just be patient and try and get it as smooth as possible, it will help you in the long run. This is the amount of hair that came out of the hair. So once done braiding, you just take some of your beauties and rub it all over the hair just to give it some sheen and help it to be less of rough on the fingers so now i parted my own hair into about 10 different sections and i took one of them down and start parting them into smaller pieces so once parted i comb my hair out already i already moisturized my hair in the sections already so you're not gonna actually see me use the shea butter cream but these are the strands that i use just like before you make one smaller and one bigger strand and then fold the smaller strand underneath the bigger strand to create three strands like so you don't know so once done, you fold it in between your pointy finger, your middle finger and your pointy finger and your thumb and you use your thumb and your pointy finger to grab onto your actual hair and then you start braiding. This is just like a rough show and tell at the moment but I'm going to show you guys a couple of more detailed like you know looks on the whole grabbing technique. Okay, so once again, you just part your hair into the desired thickness that you want it to be. I go give you all that more. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one no be private show. Once that is done, you detangle your hair and apply a moisturizer if needed. And then you prep your hair. Here, I basically took a color six, I think, and color twenty-seven a little bit, and I'm just mixing them up just to have an even distribution all throughout and then you split the hair into two pieces and create a bigger and a smaller strand and then you fold the smaller strand underneath the bigger strand and create three strands and then you divide the three strands between your pointy finger and your middle finger and your pointy finger and your 
thumb and then one strand just rests on top of your thumb and you will grab onto your hair with your thumb and your pointy finger here is a more detailed show of it so as you can see i'm grabbing onto my hair with my pointy finger and my thumb whilst pulling it towards with my free hand so once i grabbed it on i make sure that i grab the free strand as on top of my thumb with my free hand and then i just start braiding it's kind of like difficult to explain but i'll show you guys some more times just just to make sure that everything is clear so this was the next day and this is how far i've come so far so yeah now i'm just going to continue with the sides and the front Batman. Body baby, oh. ah, it's body baby, oh. yeah, yeah, it's a bad man thing, yeah, yeah. Bad girl make you want to be based, nah, nah. Give me that thing where I go for you late, nah, nah. I'm so sorry guys for the out of focus look, um, shot I didn't realize that it was out of focus but basically you just part your hair like I'm doing right now and yeah you part it I parted a straight line horizontally first and then I did one vertically just to help me get it as crisp as possible the partings in the front were much more neat and precise than the ones in the back because obviously I can't really see what's going on in the back of my head but so I have already prepped the hair in between my thumb and my pointy finger and my um, middle finger and now I grabbed onto it and then I grabbed onto the loose hair that was on top of my thumb with my loose hand and then I started braiding. Follow me, follow me, I go give you all of me, all of me, baby make you follow me, follow me, I go give you all of me, all of me. Oh my toe, she wanna say she moving to the baseline. This is all just repetition guys. I hope you guys can just see what I'm doing better than what I'm explaining because I'm so ridiculous at explaining stuff but I hope you guys get it and kind of like get a grasp of it and see what I'm doing so that you can practice it yourself and the only thing that I can say is the more that you practice the better that you will get so the more often you do it the better that you will get do it on your sister your cousin your friends try it on everybody your mama your daddy everybody and you know the more you practice you'll be able to do it on yourself after some time So I lost the clips of me actually finishing off the front of my hair but basically once you're done you boil some water I boiled two pots of water and wait it till they got to boiling point and then you get your bucket ready Pour one of them in your bucket and then you split your hair into two halves, one on the left and the right, and then put one half at a time into the bucket. But be mindful, I've been doing this for years and years and years now, so if anything, have someone at hand to help you with this and just to be safe because I don't want to be responsible for anybody getting burnt by boiling hot water. So you repeat the same sections and then once done with both sides you cut all the stringy ends off and basically that's it you got your brox braids now i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
please like comment and subscribe to my channel share with all your friends and family and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye